Well, thank you, Jay, and a very good morning to you, and a good morning to all CHAB listeners. This is Friday, August the 10th, and it gets going like this. Right now, the skies are overcast in the city, uh, lightly overcast, we might say, and uh, have they, we have a wind coming in. It's a very light one, too, just a few miles an hour, and the temper stands at <clears throat> some uh, 61, and they... The high today is going to be 80, so that's not a bad day in your, <coughs> we're cooked up for you this morning. Now here are the sports scores as we have them. Uh, uh, in the American League, Chicago 6, Los Angeles no score, Minnesota 12, City, uh, Kansas City 10, Boston down uh, Cleveland 4 to nothing, Baltimore and New York was postponed on account of rain, Detroit 8, and Washington 3, National League, uh, Milwaukee 1, Chicago no score, San Francisco 7, New York 1, and Cincinnati 7, Houston 3, and uh, Philadelphia 3, and uh, Los Angeles 8. Now, out of all those games that were played, uh, the home team won in every instance except Philadelphia at, uh, or uh, rather, <coughs> Philadelphia at Los Angeles. That was a 3 to 8 affair. It's kind of funny. Uh, the, the Northwest Commercial, uh, or, or rather, we'll start up at the top. Uh, in the Moose Jaw District League, uh, St. Mary 7, RCAF 3, at, <coughs> and, uh, the Regals 9, and the Training School 5, and that's a 1 1 tied series, apparently. And uh, the uh, Mary, St. Mary and RCAF, uh, that's the, that's the two nothing uh, now games for St. Mary. The, <clears throat> in the Northwest Commercial C, the Grand Hall Colonials ten and the Spartans four. Grand Hall leads the best of five, two to nothing. And in the Senior B ladies, the PMC twelve, the STS ten, and uh, the Moose Jaw and the Midget Girls, uh, Robins 35, uh, Rockets 19. The Moose Jaw Little League, the Cubs 13, the Tire Pirates 6, the Colts 5, and the Red League legs no score, Canard, uh, uh, the Cardinals uh, 15, the Dodgers 11, Giants 12, and Mets 1. Orioles 16, the Indians 15, Athletics twi uh, 15, Twins 2. And uh, or 11, rather. Uh, Park Hill uh, Minor Baseball, the Regals 11, the Mustangs 4, the Regions is, <coughs> uh, the Regions second game 15, the, and playing the Bears uh, 11. Those are your scores that we have him, and uh, <coughs> it's about all <coughs> the baseball that we'd want to think at the end of the day, you don't know how they get it all played. Well, your eyes see the difference and your pocketbook feels the difference when you buy at Patterson Motors, no matter what you're looking for, Patterson Motors has it or will hunt it until they find it. When you take a car on a deal, we uh, check, uh, take in a car and deal, we check it, and our mechanics clean up the, the, everything about it that we have found that might have been the least bit wrong and put it all in first-class condition. Now, after a visit to Patterson Motors, used car lot, you will say it's a dandy. But price, <clears throat> but price might be the deterrent, so we, you, you think it over, and when you come back, you will be really ready to deal. Today we are putting the spotlight on a Corvair 1960 sedan with a 1960 radio, and uh, we also uh, know that you will enjoy every mile that you drive in this car. Ask our used car salesman for a demonstration drive, and we are sure that you will like it. The price is $13.45 less your trade-in. Uh, well, you're going to have a lot of baseball this coming week. The Southern League bosses have uh, issued a, an order that all unplayed games must be finished by Sunday night. And the first game in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the playoff will start Tuesday night. Our, Royal, our Eagles, rather, must win uh, the, uh, tonight and uh, any other games that they have to replay before they are sure of the standing in the, their standing in the league. The, this year, the first and third team meet and the second and fourth on the, on the job of getting the playoffs underway. But you from uh, Moose Jaw fans, you better be sure to be in your seats tonight with when these Capel boys come meet our Regals and play off their last game. You remember that they didn't get finished. And then uh, and, uh, it could be the last game of the season. And, and, it, and it means an awful lot to our boys. So you come out and give them a lift. 
Well, in the Western, in the Western Conference, uh, and the uh, Esma, Ed, Edmonton Eskimos edged the great champion Winnipeg Blue Bombers 20 to 16, and the British Columbia Lions bombed the Saskatchewan Rough Riders 33 to 7. At Winnipeg, the Blue Bombers had the margin by uh, play statistically, but in, uh, 19, in uh, 14 points performance by Tommy Coffey powered the Eskimos to the victory. Coffey was re who returned to football this season uh, after a year's retirement scored a touchdown and kicked two field goals. They a convert and a single. A Rocky, a rookie, rather halfback Bill McKinney from the University of Georgia added the other major for Edmonton. The Bombers got touchdowns from Jerry Jerry, Jerry James. That's a hard word to say in a hurry. And and Farrell uh, Funston, where, while James kicked two converts and uh, for, and a fullback Charlie Shepard a pair of singles. The quarterback Joe Cap of the Lions showed in indication that the, he might return to his form for a few seasons of uh, a few seasons ago as he threw four to touchdown passes to lead the BC victory over Regina to, uh, to, to where two were caught by rookie halfback Tom Lesherg uh, while another rookie Mac uh, Burton and Canadian Shawnee Homer uh, gathered in the other. Uh, no uh, Beamer scored the fifth major and an off tackle run and linebacker Vic uh, Kitschko, this was a big name coming around again this year, Chris Tapatis, added three converts. For Saskatchewan, who lost their first game after defeating Calgary Monday, <clears throat> the only touchdown was scored by Gene Waslake on a 75-yard punt return. Red, uh, Reg, uh, Reg Whitehouse converted the touchdown. <clears throat> West uh, May <clears throat> West on Main Street today or any other day. If you are in the market for a used car, you will have to agree that we have a real bunch of bargain buys on our lot. One thing you don't need any <clears throat> pay to to <clears throat> you, you don't have to need you don't need any X-ray to find the value of a goodwill car. We have just one 1962 car, and it's a Chevy Biscayne sedan with radio, undercoated, miners, uh, mirrors, a gold paint job. And after you drive it, you'll say, no fooling, it's a dandy. And now for Patterson Motors, may we say to you until tomorrow morning at the very same time. So long, and thanks for listening. This is Monday through Saturday at 8.15 for Patterson Motors Sport Report with Pally Pascoe. <laughs>